everybody and welcome on my channel. This is Alexandre from Angel Carter MNC and it's my pleasure to welcome you today on this new video series. So to uh, actually re reward you and to thank you for your support, for your love and for subscribing to the channel and making all this good stuff, I really wanted to uh, reward each and every one of you and I wanted to give you all a reading. Okay, so I thought that I should do an annual reading using the Lenormand Oracle for each of the zodiac signs. Okay, so these are general reading and it's a month by month reading where you will find uh, information, guidance, messages that will really help you get the most of your year 2018. I also advise you to check the videos that uh, actually matches your, uh, your moon sign, your rising sign, to get even more uh, wonderful and beautiful messages. So I look forward to your subscription, to your comments, and I leave you with your reading and wish you all a wonderful 2018. Good morning Cancer, this is Alexandre from Angel Cartomancy and it's a joy to welcome you today on your reading for 2018. So we are going to look at uh, 2018 month by month and see what the cards has to tell you. These are not only prediction but they are also prescriptions to help you overcome some, you know, maybe difficulties, obstacles or um, issues that you, you will be meeting. And uh, these are not set in stone, of course. You can change the issue of things if you choose to. And if you would add, you know, more positive thoughts and action and, you know, good vibration, of course, things can change and move forward. So this is a general reading, but if you would want one uh, specially made for you for 2018, I have a link in the description box below where you can uh, order one and check out how uh, to do so, okay? Uh, next thing, if uh, you will get more detail from these readings, if you have a look also to your rising sign, your moon sign, and you will be able to check uh, those related videos and you will get more information about uh, your 2018 reading. Without further ado, let's focus on your intentions and also on the guidance, the messages that the cards want to convey, and we will see what they have to tell you. What they have to tell you. So your cards have been dealt into a calendar of 12 months and we're going to see month by month what the card has to tell you. Okay, starting with January, you have the lilies, the mountain and the fish, okay? So things have moved really slow for you lately, then you have perhaps met some blockages, some uh, refusals and you know, and uh, perhaps situation that had uh, drive you back, you know, and you were not able to make any advancement. And with this combination of card, the fish come after the mountain. Uh, the fish is the flow. It's also about, you know, getting in the flow and make things happen. So January will be, you know, the end of the blocks, the end of the waiting, and there will be uh, some kind of, you know, a flow of things going on uh, smoothly and uh, not quickly, but smoothly, okay? Um, it's also showing me that maybe there there is a sort of quarrel or rivality between two brothers, okay? And uh, 
they seems to be stubborn and they stay on their um, on their you know opinion and no one wants to admit that uh, you know this one is right or this one is is not right so and things will stay for a bit of time you know the mountain is a, is a complicated card and it can you know in time it can go um, very far so yeah there will be some kind of uh, of dilemmas between two brothers, two good friends, two men that consider themselves as, you know, as brothers. So for the month of uh, February, there is, uh, first there is some kind of moving, you know, moving to another house and we got a deal here. We signed a deal, we are getting a deal. And it's also to people, the king and the queen of heart, that get engaged okay so it can mean many things like you know a couple that really love each other because they are hearts they get together and they re they unite themselves it can be also a partnership between a man and a woman okay it can be about property or it can be about pregnancy these things are really powerful during the month of February. There is great fertility, there is great security, and it's a time that we uh, you know that we uh, make things happen. Okay, and with the ring, there is always a yes. Anything that you are inquiring about during the month of February is a yes. Okay, so if you're getting like propose during the month of February, please tell us. We would really love to know. So then moving to the month of March, you have the tower, the fox, and the moon. Okay, so there is psychic work going on a lot here. So connecting with your intuitivity, connecting with the higher power, and seeing things in a different perspective. You are going to act very smartly during the month of March, okay? Uh, there is a recognition about the position, about your position in your workplace, uh, in your job, okay? So you, the higher, the hierarchy really see uh, how you work and they are happy about it with the moon, you are visible, you are cherished and uh, yeah you are seen it's very positive okay so March is a good month too April April there will be some sort of difficulties and troubles and dangerous situation but at the end you hit the mark okay it could be uh, a difficult task that your boss is giving you and perhaps you need to use unconventional ways to get to your um, to your goal. Okay, um, pay attention also to some known enemy that may be you know using uh, you know dark forces or negative forces to attain you. So it's also a, a month to work on your protection. Okay, it's a month to pray to to meditate you know to burn candles to recite prayers and mantras and novenas and really you know asking for the light and for the protection okay especially if you know someone that really wants to harm you like we've seen here with the snake the month of april there is some issue about health where maybe you will be forced to uh, to rest Okay, forced to rest and not being able to uh, to do things, to handle things. Okay, so it's also a month of maybe you will feel yourself lazy, not laborious at all. Maybe you will count on other people to do things for you. And yeah, with the clover at the end, you know, things uh, become better, if I can tell. Things become better, things become uh, nicer, okay? And uh, yeah, perhaps you need to to rest a little bit, you know, in the countryside and resource yourself and, you know, be able to uh, 
uh, to regenerate, regeneration, okay? So the month of June, we have the writer, we have the birds and the bouquet. So there is a lot of messages going on, phone calls, messages, visits, you know, and uh, a lot of sharing as well with the, with the bouquet. And it's positive. There is positive things happening, positive movement, positive, yeah, new beginnings as well, you know, starting things from scratch. And in it's, it's auspicious with the bouquets, a blessing, okay? Now we move to the month of July. This was June, this is July. July, there is uh, an end of an argument. Remember that we were talking on the month of January about two men that, you know, were fighting, they considered themselves brothers, and then there will be some sort of maybe they had fight for a girlfriend as well with the ring next there. And here in the month of July, there is an ending. There is an ending of war. Okay, friendship is back. Okay, it could be also uh, a difficult moment in your couple. It ends. Okay, it ends, and then it 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 is coming back to be loyal. To be protective and to be, you know, a good friend and yeah, this is really, really uh, positive to happen. Then to the month of August, we have the crossroads, we have the book, and we have the woman. Okay, so here there is uh, maybe someone will confess certain things to you. Okay. And they will open their heart. They will tell you a secret. They will uh, open up things. Things that perhaps you were ignorant will be uh, revealed to you. Okay? So there is a lot of learning along the way for you in the month of August. There is a month of where, you know, mouth are going to open and secrets are going to be revealed and you will learn many, 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 many things. Okay, so keep, keep your eyes and ears open because there is a lot to learn. Month of September, you know, the love life is, is good, but you know, there is some disturbance. There is some kind of, you know, I get the feeling that you will forget things. So there is, this, if in the month of September, there is an important anniversary. There is, you know, something happening. Don't forget, please, because this will, you know, this combination of cards is very good. The stars and the heart are really nice. It's a strong connection. It's a soulmate connection. But when the clouds come in, it really, you know, destroy the good harmony of the card. It shadows it. So most of the time, the clouds for me is related to the thought. Okay, it's like the air suit of the tarot, which is related to the mind, to your thoughts. Same thing here. I've seen that a lot. So don't forget something important. Okay? And it's related to relationship. Maybe it's a birthday with the star. It could be a birthday. So really pay attention. Don't forget because this will bring, you know, <laughs> uh, not war, but it will bring, uh, uh, like, you know, disagreement and, and, and turbulence in your relationship. Then we move to the month of October, which is a good month if you want to travel, if you want to buy a new car, if you, buy, if you want to travel with... with with the kids or make one of your kids travel. It's a very good uh, auspicious time, okay? Things are going swiftly. It seems like, you know, the problems resolve themselves on their own, okay? You don't have much to do, okay? It's also a month of new beginning and change, but in the positive way, okay? There is a transition, there is perhaps, you know, changing ideas, changing your, your opinion on, on someone or something. It's really, you know, significant and very nice. It's positive with the key, nothing to be afraid of. November here we have, again, strong, powerful cards with 
the bear and the sand, the letter here, brings the notion of, you know, of communication and messages, strong messages, strong, powerful messages that you are going to receive. It could be also a good sum of money coming through, you know, like a check. It could be receiving cash in an envelope uh, by someone. So it's really positive. It's really a strong month where success, where strength, will be uh, present. Now you end the year with the garden, the mice, and the man, okay? So, this could mean small group that the, the current is involved in. It could be also a stressful person that surrounds you. So, December, it's like it seems like you have fun, but, you know, there is this uh, anxiety, there is this worries and this stress, and maybe these people are, you know, act, are working on your nerves, after touching your nerves. So you really need to um, to look forward. Ending with the man, which is one of the card of the significator of the person reading the card. If you are a man, uh, the end of the year is the month for you. Okay, and if you are a woman, the month of uh, August is most, you know, the month to be your month. Okay, and it could be also that you are ending the year with uh, a nice relationship. Stressful, you know, stressful. Maybe this person is not totally free. Maybe you will meet someone that is not totally free, but is still engaged with other persons. But, you know, it looked promising, okay? So, I hope that this reading had yelled some uh, nice information for you and that it's accurate. Don't hesitate to come back again and look at the reading uh, as many times as you need. And I also invite you to subscribe to the channel, to share the video with your friends, and also, you know, and, uh, yeah, subscribe. Uh, next thing I would like to say is if you would like a deck of, this car, of these cards, these are my classic Lenormand, you maybe have seen it. And now it had changed name because my new publisher, Schiffer Publishing, had signed me for a mass market production and they wanted the deck to wear my name. So it will be the Alexandre Mastruck. Lenormand Oroco cards that you can find on Amazon for pre-order. They will be shipped um, in spring, coming spring 2018. And you will also have uh, a companion book that is sold separately, but that really teach you how to work with the Lenormand, the French way, of course, the French way. And yeah, receive messages and learn the mysterious, you know, science of art and art of God reading. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful 2018 and lots of love and happiness and blessing for this new year. And I hope that you will stick with us to the channel and, you know, be part of the community and, you know, share this safe place with us. So sending you love and blessing and talk to you soon. Bye.